all right hey guys welcome to another tutorial so in this tutorial we're gonna see how we can copy data from an AWS S3 bucket to a local host so for this tutorial we're gonna use the uh, API called S3 CMD I'll put the description I'll put in the description how you can actually install S3 CMD and in, so <clears throat> we can see that we have this bucket called a AODBA CDN bucket and we're gonna list the content of it recursively this is gonna print all of the content of that particular bucket all right so now we're gonna clear this image and we're gonna see how we can move data from and to the bucket into our local host so now we're gonna move into this other bucket and we're gonna list as well AODBA dash bucket using the ls option so we can see we have a bunch of files here pdfs and such and such and such now how we can copy all of them onto our machine or a single one so let's create a directory and we're going to call a stage where we're going to put actually this um this whatever we copy from aws so we see that we are in the stage directory and we're going to use the s3 cmd git command and the full path to one of the archives and then specify what will be the location of this particular file we want to get off so we can see that the file was already copied into the working directory that we were let's remove this file and let's run the same command but without specifying a single file and we're going to specify we're going to use the option recursive after the bucket's name what would this command will do will pretty much loop through the entirety of that bucket and copy it to our local host location that we specified so this command can be easily used to move and um sync data from an aws bucket to a local host and vice versa all right so you can see all the files has been copied to a local host hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and see you in the next one